The 2025 Volvo EX90. We finally have official pricing and more specs that we can cover. And by 2030, Volvo, along with many other car companies, are aiming to have a full EV lineup by 2030. And this EX90, it's going to be built upon the current gasoline-powered XC90 three-row SUV. And we have two models here, the twin motor and the twin motor performance. And within those two trims, we have the plus and the ultra to choose from. But all of these variations are going to use a 111 kilowatt hour battery pack and the quote unquote base twin motor. Uh, it's of course going to be all wheel drive and it's going to have 402 horsepower and 568 pounds feet of torque. This model can do zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, but you move up to that performance you now have 496 horsepower and 671 pounds feet of torque. The performance will do 60 in 4.7 seconds. Although we don't have the exact range estimates, uh, Volvo is saying that both models, the regular and the performance, can do over 300 miles of range. And when you charge on a 250 kilowatt fast charger, you can charge the EX90 from 10% to 80% in approximately half an hour, which is terrible because uh, some of the Genesis EVs, they can be charged from 10 to 80% in 18 minutes or almost half the time as this EX90. Mind you, 18 minutes for the average person is still horrible. That's still a long time compared to just filling up with fuel, right? And this is why the trend for EVs has gone down because it is an inconvenience to do a long journey or a long trip in a full EV when it's taking this long. The Genesis products are literally one of the fastest and it's still taking 18 minutes. This Volvo over half an hour. But as you would expect from a Volvo, we got all the safety features as standard and you know it's top tier and you know it works perfectly so that's not remotely an issue. In fact, the current lineup of Volvos uh, like your XC90s and your XC60s, etc. They're all approximately seven years old now and they still hold up in terms of crash tests and safety tech as well. And the designs still look fresh. So we can expect this EX90, this all new full EV to do really well and really exceed the new IIHS crash tests uh, because full EVs tend to do pretty well in crash tests. And then you tack on the safety tech yeah, I think most families should have a peace of mind. Of course, there's another aspect of safety, which I'll talk about towards the end. But yeah, on paper, it's looking pretty good. Now, pricing, I know it looks like we have some eye-watering numbers here, but let me just go through it. An EX90 Twin Motor Plus, which is essentially your base model, is going to start at a tad under $78,000. The Ultra is going to be about $82,000. And... The twin motor performance is going to start at about 83 grand, the Ultra about $87,000, and that includes destination. So $78,000 to $87,000, that's your range here, and that seems high, but you have to understand that full EV vehicles, even plug-in hybrids, come with a lot of incentives, and they're extremely cheap to lease uh, relative to its MSRP pricing. For instance, I am partnered with Auto Companion, one of the largest brokers in the United States, and he does offer Volvo deals right now, an XC90 T8 plug-in hybrid. There's like 10 to $12,000 in Volvo incentives, and you get like an additional Costco incentive of $1,000, and Auto Companion himself, with his partner dealers, they're offering like 8% off MSRP. So you're getting like almost $20,000 off MSRP uh, when you go through one of Auto Companion's deals, you stack on his discounts and the company incentives. That's a big savings. You know, from a $75,000 vehicle, you're getting it for almost $55,000, $60,000. That is really impressive. And I'm sure we can expect the same for this EX90. Definitely on this EX90, since it's a full EV, it doesn't work for everyone's lifestyle. You can expect there to be like 15,000, maybe even $20,000 in incentives, who knows? Uh, right now with the Lexus 
RZ, full EV, we have like $15,000 in incentives. So Lexus is another brand that Auto Companion represents amongst others like BMW, Audi, Mercedes, etc. If you want to work with him, I'll have my affiliate link in the description box below. He does charge a broker fee, but he will take some money off of that fee when you sign up with my link. And he is in DC, so you will either have to ship the car to your house or you will have to pick it up at DC. But I think it's worth it to take advantage of these deals. And an XC90 right now, that's a T8 plug-in hybrid, leases for about $750 a month with a zero down lease. That's really not bad for a $75,000 MSRP vehicle. So as you can see, you don't have to be intimidated by these high MSRP vehicles, especially EVs. Now, back to the EX90, uh, even the plus models or the base, it is well equipped. You have things like the Pano sunroof, you got the LED lights, you got 20 inch wheels, keyless entry, a power lift gate, as well as heated seats, a heated steering wheel, four zone climate, plenty of USBs, and of course, we have the digital gauge cluster that's gonna be nine inches with a 14.5 inch infotainment screen with wireless Apple CarPlay, no mention of wireless Android Auto, and they'll also give you a 14 speaker Bose audio system. Now you step up to the ultra trim levels, you get the larger 21 inch wheels, the air ride, and soft closing doors, as well as massaging front seats and adjustable bolsters. In this instance, I definitely think the twin motor performance is the way to go. And I should mention this as well. These EX90s, it is able to sit up to seven people, but if you want to sit six occupants, that's going to add $500 to the price of the EX90. But let's go back to the safety aspect as well. I know I mentioned that the safety tech and the crash test safety is going to be great, but there's another reason why people are a little hesitant to drive full EVs, and that's these news stories that keep popping up where uh, these EVs, they just randomly explode and catch on fire. And I have to admit, even though this isn't happening to every EV on the road, the few times it does happen, it's random, and that scares people because an EV car fire is not like a gasoline-powered car fire. You're releasing a lot of toxic fumes into the air, and not to say that you're not doing the same with a gasoline-powered car, but this is a little different with the lithium-ion fires, and it just keeps burning. It doesn't just stop, you know, so a firefighter can't just come and put it out quickly. Uh, in fact, a lot of fire departments are trained to just let the thing burn out completely because if you put the fire out, it's entirely possible for the car to just re-catch on fire and, and to continue burning its, I guess, lithium ion cells. And I talk more about this and thermal runway and all that good stuff in my Tesla price cut video. So I will have that linked in the description box below. This is one of the reasons why I'm personally not a huge fan of daily driving a full EV and charging it in my house. In fact, there was a Mercedes EQE sedan that just blew up in a garage and the person wasn't even charging it. It was just parked inside of the garage. That's crazy. So even though that's not happening to every EV, it just needs to happen once for people to be like, oh yeah, I don't want to have any part in that. So although this looks cool, it seems super practical and it's going to be the smoothest driving Volvo product. I'm just not 100% sold on these EVs. And it's the same thing with plug-in hybrids as well. And they also have a very large uh, battery pack. You know the damage that a cell phone can do when that thing goes off. So it's just something to think about and something I just want to mention in all my EV videos so people are aware. Again, I talk more about this in the Tesla price cut video in far more detail but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding this ex90 is this something that you're looking forward to do you like the way it looks are you a current volvo owner how has it been holding up for you how's the dealership experience been we would like to know your thoughts but thank you so much for watching take care and goodbye